What's up you guys? All right, so we're kind of changing things up today and doing things a little bit differently. This will be a little bit of a vlog style and something that we've literally never done before. And I know that you guys love the evening routine where we build a fort. It has become a tradition over the years and I figured why not take that and kind of turn it into a cozy day routine where we build the ultimate reading nook listen and read spooky stories and spooky books. I've got like all my books behind me and just set up like the ultimate cozy space and cozy aesthetic and just giving you all of the fall vibes. I figured that would be the best. So I've pulled up Pinterest and I'm gonna go through not only cozy spooky aesthetic, but like the ultimate cozy reading nook together. And we're gonna build a nook together. We're gonna light candles, we're gonna make a cup of coffee. We're gonna get all of the things that one needs to do this. And the very first thing, was to change. So I put on a cozy outfit and we're gonna get to building this thing. I have no idea where this is going, but it's gonna be awesome. And I just wanna set up and get cozy and read a good book. So this is happening. This guy is literally unable to do anything without me. Why do you follow me everywhere? Is there a reason why you follow me everywhere? Are you a star? Okay, well, if you're gonna be here, you're gonna be here. Do you wanna go see daddy? Go see daddy. All right, so this is where I'm thinking of setting up the cozy nook. I have my little reading area right here. The thing is, I want you guys to be able to follow along with me, and I have this really cute, like, swing chair here, but I feel like not everybody has a swing chair. But if you want a swing chair, I can link this one, and it's not hanging from the ceiling. It actually has, like, its own stand, which is awesome. We could have gone this route, but we're actually gonna build a nook, and we're not gonna make this, like, easy on ourselves. I'm gonna make it easier for you guys, but this would have just been like, I could throw myself in there, read a book and we're good to go. But we're gonna actually build something today. So I'm thinking of getting what I need to, you know, light some candles right here, making this space really cozy and comfy and getting out some books. So I went onto Pinterest and I just started searching cozy aesthetic. So like I said, number one is switch into some comfy clothes. So I will actually, here, I'll give you like a full perspective of what I'm wearing. So it's like a little crop top. I have a sports bra underneath, just like, listen, gotta stay supported. And this cute little robe, and it comes in a set of three pieces. So there is also the pants, which are extra, extra long. So this is the, the pants that it comes with, which are like super comfy. Just I'm tall and these are rolled, so you're fair warned, but they're not by skims. They're like a dupe and they're really not expensive. I'll link them down below. I'm pretty sure that I got them either at Pretty Little Thing or Fashion Nova. I know that both of those places sell these and I'm, I'm actually pretty sure that Forever 21 also has a set, but it comes in a three piece set, nowhere near as expensive. Step two is definitely slippers. So I went and grabbed some slippers. I don't know if these are still available, but if they are, I will link all of the things down below. All right, so we've got our cozy outfit by the way my necklace is everything jack skellington it's from charmed aroma so i got a candle out of it so cozy clothes number one a robe or a sweater so that you're like extra comfy cozy and then going through the photos obviously like we need to talk about a book um i'm gonna do audio so here is what i'll show you all of the books like the spooky books that i have over there on my shelf but what I wanted to do was go into my Audible. So I've worked with Audible before. I have, I literally pay for my own Audible every single month. I do the two credit account. So I currently have eight credits on my account. I pay for my own, but I love partnering with Audible, especially because I love when something is in it for you guys. So thank you to Audible, number one, for sponsoring this video. Audible is amazing. They are the king of kings of audiobooks. And I thought, how cool would it be to do like a spooky book instead of like planning and goal setting and whatever like we always do which is you know if you want to see that those exist as well on this channel but i figured you could do like a spooky novel and let that play in like either color or map out your day or paint or just sit there and listen and enjoy so i'm gonna do that so here's the thing if you text angie belmar just my name to 500 500 you can get your first month for free with audible or just go to audible.com slash angie belmar but here Here's what I love. So with my credit that I get every single month, I also have access to the Plus catalog, which I'm gonna go explore in today because I think that, I'm gonna go, I'm literally, explore Plus catalog. Yeah, I knew it. So there's, cr oh yes, there is crime ad-free podcasts in the Plus catalog that are true crime podcasts. So if that's your thing, which I know a lot of people are into right now, there is literally a Halloween category. I'm curious. Spooky listens. 
That's what we're gonna do. Spooky listens. We just went. We just went ham. We went from let's go to cute, cute and cozy to let's spook. I like the spooky listens. Okay, so I found my book. It's called The Family Upstairs, and the reason why I'm getting it on Audible is that this has the actual book has been sitting on my shelf for over a year now. So this is what it looks like in hardcover. I'm not gonna end up sitting here and reading it. So it's read by some like darling British man, and it's it almost seems like it's about witches. I love that you can listen to a sample and you can know who's reading it, you can see if you vibe with it. And at first I wasn't vibing and then I gave it a chance. And it's like a full four minute and some preview. It's good. So I have, I don't know if you can see out my window, I've got like all the leaves are turning. You can see like the red leaves out there. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to light some candles and set myself up with probably a cup of tea or coffee. And I wanted to read to you what else I found on Pinterest. So between, so you can either search cozy aesthetic or spooky aesthetic for like a list of these things. But what I'll do is I'll type up mine and actually give you like a checklist because that doesn't exist. There was no cozy aesthetic, cozy nook checklist. There was just pictures. So I took from all the pictures. So definitely cozy clothes, robe or sweater. You need books or an audiobook in my case. Uh, slippers, by the way, I will leave the link for the Audible code down below. It's just audible.com slash Angie Velmer. So slippers done. I'm going to grab some fairy lights as well as some candles over here, some blankets and some pillows. I'm going to do that. A, you can either light a fire. So I have a fire in the other room, but I do have a space heater in here. So to make it cozy comf, we're going to do that coffee and tea. And then you can get out like some books, some coloring books, some planning or just chill. So that's what I have so far. And I will share this list with you guys on Pinterest. I've been pinning a lot of stuff from the fall and yeah, let's, let's set this up. So I've got this rock salt lamp that adds all of the ambiance. I actually use this during my morning routine, but this'll be great. How cute is my little snow globe? My little gnome snow globe. This is actually a fountain back here. I wonder if I should turn that on, if that would add the cozy vibes. Probably. Okay, so I've got this bench cushion. And I've got, Carl's looking at me like, why are you taking that? I've got Carl's dog bed from the Donuts, Dumbbells of Dreams collection. Carl, you can be a part of it if you want to. So this is gonna go, I feel like this, like a bench cushion is the perfect thing for a nook. And then my ghost host pillow, so I can lean back on that. Or do we just put it, no, let's put it like this. Hi. What do you think of our nook so far? Need more pillows up there. Pillow for the books and for my coloring stuff or whatever. These are the other book options that I had. So you could also get those on Audible. The Last Mrs. Parish and the other misses. Clearly I have a thing for crazy women. coziest candle I could find, the tavern. I've got some notebooks. This one, and that has all of my bullet journal stuff in there, and then the Sanderson sister notebook. Fairy lights, little orange ones. And these are like super easy because they don't bother you at all, but they just add ambiance. Oh my gosh, I love my nook. And snacks. <laughs> it was honestly really cold this morning, so I thought we would need the heater. We don't, we don't even need the fireplace. I'm actually like, whoo, I'm warm in my fuzzy outfit. So I think I'm gonna open up the window. It'll be even more cozy. It'll be like crisp fall air.
let's pause. First of all, it's really good. And it's narrated by a bunch of different people. So when a dude speaks, there's a guy, it's really good. It's very creepy, which I love. It doesn't seem overly scary. And I just, I love the, I will say I love the vibes of the cover. So what I've been doing is I grabbed last year's bullet journal. This is a full video. I did a plan with me video where I shared my ultimate fall bucket list. I shared my spooky movie list. And by the way, all of these are, there's pictures of them and I posted them on my Pinterest. So I'm going through the movie list because you guys had helped me on Instagram with it. And I was missing quite a few. Like for example, you guys said that I need to add the Charlie Brown movie in here. A lot of you guys talked about some horror films that I need to add here, which I don't really want to. I don't watch like straight up scary movies. Like I think the scariest movie on here would be Disturbia and that's not even that scary. Yeah, there's nothing scary on here. So I'm just trying to expand the list. One movie that I watched last year was Witches of Eastwick and I loved it. And I'm looking for more like that, like spooky. Clearly that's just like a theme, sexy spooky with really good actors. I cannot get over in that movie how beautiful those women are. Susan Sarandon, Cher, and Michelle Pfeiffer, am I right? So pretty, oh my gosh. I think it was from the 80s, right? So gorgeous. So I have a not so scary sticker on here. And in my other journal, I was writing out just my goals and what like I'm going for today and this week and my plan for all of the future videos and all of that. And I'm just having my my cup of coffee and enjoying my little space that I've got. I wanna say that um, even if you don't have a puppy, this dog bed is uh, the most comfortable thing ever. <laughs> you could use it as a floor pillow. So I'm going to have my cup of coffee, probably listen to a couple more chapters and chill and enjoy my little space. And what's cool is this isn't like the fort, like I can leave this like this. Like I'm just gonna keep my little setup with my fairy lights and my fountain and kind of make it more of a permanent space for myself. So. Go find a little nook for yourself, curl up, get a good book. I will leave all the Audible information down below so you can get your first month for free. And I will leave the information on the book that I'm listening to. And if you guys have good suggestions, by the way, I would so appreciate your suggestions for spooky, not so scary, kind of like, kind of sexy, kind of, you know, like just like a cool, cool, good spooky thriller book. If you guys have a suggestion, drop it down below. And yes, we will do, I was gonna say, if you guys want us to do the fort, we, we're gonna do the fort. So with that said, if you guys enjoyed the cozy, I'm, I'm like fully lying down right now. If you guys enjoyed the cozy reading nook, cozy day type of vibes, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If you guys have suggestions for videos that you want to see before the month is over, drop them down below. Make sure that you're subscribed as well as following on Instagram. Hit that bell so you don't miss any of the notifications for when a video goes up and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes.